Hello, I'm the head scout for the Golden State Warriors. I want you to know that we're strongly considering you based on your performance tonight with our first round pick, 11th overall. We'd like to get to know you a little better before committing to you. I'm sure you understand. We have a couple of questions, if you don't mind. We feel like we already have some great young guards on our roster in Monte Ellis and Stephen Curry. Where do you see yourself fitting in with those guys? Monte Ellis and Steph Curry are good players, but I don't feel like playing behind them, so I'm going to say no. Look, I'm not really a fit with your current roster. You guys already have some nice guards, guys that would cut into my playing time. I'd rather go to a place where my talents would be best used, and I'm sorry, but that's just not with the Warriors. All right, good answer. Let's move on to the next question. All right, then. One more. This team has a lot of momentum right now. We went through a rough stretch and had some recent draft picks that didn't work out. With guys like Monte, Stephen Curry, and David Lee, we really feel like we're on the up and up. We like what we've seen out of you, but how do you see yourself fitting in with the team? I mean, I could fit with the team. It suits my play style, but I still don't want to play behind Steph Curry and Monte Ellis. I love the talent already on this team. I don't understand how they aren't winning 50 games a season, to be honest. I really think I can compliment these players and take the team to the next level. This team's a dream fit for me, man. Not exactly what I wanted to say, but let's move on. Thanks for answering our questions. I don't know that we're a fit for you at this time. We'll need to discuss internally. I'll be in touch. Nice job out there tonight. Your play really impressed us. So much so that we're considering using our pick on you if you're available when our turn comes up. Before we get that far, we'd really like to ask you a couple of questions. Question number one. I feel like we have our point guard of the future in Brandon Jennings, but I would be remiss to not look at all available options in the draft. How do you think you compare to Brandon? I don't feel like playing behind Brandon Jennings either, so I'm going to say no yet again. I think Brandon's a good player, but I think I'm a much more complete player. If you draft me, you'll be moving your franchise forward a number of years. He still has good trade value, and I really think you'd be able to bring in another solid piece to build around if you draft me. That's right. I said go trade him. Interesting. Next question. We realize that here in Milwaukee, we don't have the appeal of a Los Angeles or a New York or a Miami. We tend to look for players who would be proud to be part of this organization. Someone who can really take pride in being a Milwaukee Buck. Someone who's willing to spend their entire career as a Milwaukee Buck. Are you that person? Whoa, whoa. Hold on. I'm not trying to decide the rest of my life here. I really think I'd enjoy being a member of the Milwaukee Bucks. It's hard for me to tell you right now that I want to play my entire career there, though. So many things can happen. So many things can change. I'm not saying that it's something that can happen. I just don't want to mislead you. I'd definitely love to be a member of your team. Some interesting answers. Thanks again for your time. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm the Director of Player Personnel for the Utah Jazz. My scouts have expressed a lot of interest in you. Before I can give my blessing to use our draft pick on you, I'd like to ask you a couple of questions, you know, to make sure you'd fit in with what we do here. I really think the first piece to getting this franchise back on track is to find and develop our point guard of the future. The point is the one position that can really make or break a team and change the overall direction of the franchise. Looking back at the Hornets, look at what Chris Paul did for that team. We want a point guard who will do the same for us, and we think you might be that guy. Convince us of that. Utah Jazz had some amazing point guards like Darren Williams and John Stockton, so I wouldn't mind playing for this franchise. Okay. Look, I know you're going to talk to some of the other point guards in the draft, but none of them are going to have my work ethic, my character, my dedication, and my sheer will to win. I'm eager to be the face of a franchise, and I don't want to do it anywhere else but in Utah. I really feel like I would fit in nicely with this roster. Okay, last question. Do you feel pressure to be good right away in this league? No, not really. Besides from being a rookie, this is just a video game, so... Yeah. Man, considering that I spent my entire life working towards this goal, yeah, I feel pressure for myself to succeed now that I'm finally going to make it to the league. It's okay, though. 
I put pressure on myself at every level I played at, and, you know, here I am. Okay, I think I've heard all I needed to hear for now. You're definitely someone we can use on our team. Now we just need you to be available when it's our turn to pick. I know you guys loved some of those answers that I had in my interviews, and I'm Goodfellow here bringing to you NBA 2K12 draft. And uh, let's see where I get drafted. And uh, this is my scouting report after the rookie showcase. And if you guys missed that game, I will put the link in the description and also in the video so you guys could check it out and catch up with how I did in my rookie showcase. And this year, they really did a good job with the presentation for draft. I really like that. The fact that they had David Stern presenting the players, unfortunately they don't have actual rookies, so you all only had to stick with generated rookies, which really sucks, but what can you do? The lockout is here, you can't really do anything about that. Hopefully it will be fixed and we get rookies back, but let's get into it. And uh, the first draft pick always goes Doug Martin, who actually looks like Kyrie Irving. He has same height, he has same weight, and all of the other drafts they are similar positions but we're not gonna watch all the drafts we're gonna skip close to my position and number nine goes to Bobcats and let's see who they draft so they didn't draft me they drift drafted a guy by name of Eric Anderson but I'm hoping to go with Milwaukee because they had an interview with me and I think they are interested all right, so no bucks for me. They pick another point guard by name of Sam Park. I don't know who that is in real life. So let's move on to Golden State. And Golden State was another team that interviewed me. Wow, not even Golden State picks me. So maybe it's going to be Utah Jazz. Twelfth pick in the 2011 NBA draft, the Utah Jazz select. The 19-year-old point guard from the University of Texas. All right, so I've been drafted to Utah Jazz. Pretty good pick. I'm excited to bring some videos from Utah Jazz and play for them. And hopefully you guys will enjoy it. And tell me where you guys got drafted. And here I will show you my welcome billboard as everyone gets it and I hope you guys enjoyed my video my commentary and uh, I hope you guys have a nice day I'll see you later